Dear students, in this video, we will learn about ASM chart. So, this ASM stands for Algorithmic State Machine. So, what is the use of ASM chart? The ASM chart describes the sequence of events as well as the timing relationship between the states of a sequential controller and the events that occur while going from one state to the next state. That means it is similar to a flow chart, only the difference is it has some timing relationship. There are three basic elements in an ASM chart. So what are the three basic elements? They are number one is state box and it has a rectangular shape. So this is a state box. So it will have some inputs. Suppose here we have one input is X and it will have some output so here i am denoting the state with s capital s the second type of basic element is decision box as the name says it takes the decision depending on the inputs so this decision box has a diamond shape okay like this one so it will have some input okay here so here we will have two outputs either zero or one so it will take the decision depending on the input x and it will go either this one or towards zero it shows the effect of the input x here okay on the control system so if we are designing a control system so what will be the effect of the input it will describe that now next we have a third type of box the third type of box is a conditional box so in this type of box this is a oval shaped box so here we'll have a oval shaped box like this one so this is a conditional box it will have some output z and it will have some input from the decision box okay that means this input will always come from the decision box and it will go towards the state box so i have described here three basic elements of an asm chart first of all we have seen this state box it is a rectangular box the decision box is a diamond shaped box so this box will decide which side the control flow should go depending on the input and here we have this conditional box so in this box this input comes from a decision box and it goes to a state box now let us consider one state diagram and from that we will try to find out the asm chart so here we'll have a state diagram suppose here we have state s0 here we have suppose s1 then we have suppose s2 these are the three states suppose we have so let us assume that we have a transition from s0 to s0 when the input is 0 and the output is as well as 0 now we can see here when the input is 1 suppose the output is also 1 and it goes to state s1 now we are in s1 state and suppose here we have when the input is 1 it remains in the same state and the output is suppose 0 okay and when the input is 0 it goes to state s2 and the output is suppose 1 okay now we are in s2 so when suppose we have input is 0 suppose it remains in the same state and the output is also 0 okay now when the input is 1 suppose it goes to s0 and the output is also 1 now we will draw the asm chart for this state diagram so at the beginning we will have to define some state so suppose we start from s0 suppose we have a state box here suppose this is a state box and this has a state is s0 the input is x it will now go to the decision box now we have drawn this decision box and suppose here we have one and here we have suppose zero that means when the input is one it will go towards this side so decision it will take depending on the input x so when the input is zero it will remain in the same state and it will go to s0 okay we need not to define any conditional box here because we have the output is zero okay here we can see when the output is zero we need not to introduce any conditional box but when the output is one we have to define one conditional box from s0 when the input is one the output is as well one 
and it goes to S1. Now we have to go to S1, but the output is 1, so we have to go through a conditional box. That means whenever the output is 1, we have to go through a conditional box. When the input is 1, the output is also 1. Now we have to go through a conditional box. So this is the oval shaped box. So suppose here we have the output is denoted by Z. So in this way it will come and it will go to which state it will go to state s1 so this is state s1 so from s0 it is going to s1 and it will come here okay now from s1 again it will go to the decision box so here you have to draw a decision box and it will also have some input and depending on this input it will go towards the one side or towards the zero side when the input is one it will go towards this side and when the input is zero it will go towards this side okay now let us see the state diagram in s1 when the input is zero it goes to s2 when the input is one it remains in the same state okay so first of all let us draw this one when the input is one it remains in the same state so when the input is one it remains in the same state now we have to see the output when the input is 1 the output is 0 okay so we need not to define any conditional box so directly we can connect towards this input of s1 so when the input is 0 when the input is 0 it goes to state s2 and it has the output of 1 okay that means we have to add a conditional box here okay so draw a conditional box here And this will be the input of this conditional box. Here we'll have the output is Z and it will go to S2. Okay. Now let us draw the state box S2. Now here you can see that this conditional box we have always the input is from the decision box. So here we have the S2 state box. Now from this state box we'll have some decision so this will go towards the diamond shape decision box so depending on the input x it will go towards one that is input may be one or input may be zero so now let us see the state diagram so if we see the state diagram what will have from s2 when input is zero output is zero that means it will remain in the same state and we did not to define any conditional box because the output is zero so for zero input it remains in the same state that means this input will go towards the same s2 state okay that means whenever the input is zero it is remaining in the same state and we need not to define any conditional box because the output is zero now we can see here from s2 when the input is one the output is one and it goes to s0 that means we have to also include one conditional box in the path from s2 to s0 and the output is 1 okay when the input is 1 so from the input is 1 line so here we have to go through a conditional box okay so here you draw the conditional box so this will be the input of this conditional box and this conditional box input here we have the in output is z this will go to s0 this one okay so here we have to draw this line towards this one okay and you have to bring this line to the s0 state box so this is the asm chart for the given state diagram thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you